Problem 31. Jono is a track team coach and is testing his new training program. So he randomly selects six of his team members and records their times in the one mile run before and after his intense training program. Below are the times uh, before and after six weeks of training. So, for example, Sarah, uh, it took her 10.4 minutes to run the mile. But after the intense training program, uh, it only took her 9.2 minutes. Mr. X, on the other hand, it took him 15.9 minutes to run the mile. But after the training, his time actually increased uh, to 16.2. Looks like Theo, his time uh, reduced. So Theo improved, right? Right. In this case, these are running times. So when the times go down, um, that's what it means for the time to improve. Looks like everyone improved here except Mr. X and April. Apparently, she was already in shape. Uh, 6.8, 6.8. At the 1% significance level, that's going to be our alpha. Alpha is the level of significance. Do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that Jono's training program was effective? So let's, we have to conduct a hypothesis test to determine if the training program was effective. Um, we have dependent data. We have before and after. So this is going to be a paired hypothesis test. So the very first step is to set up the null and alternative hypotheses. This is actually the hardest part of the problem. So for the null hypothesis, it's always mu sub d equals zero. And for the alternative, well, that will depend on the question. So first of all, what are the d's? So the d stands for difference. So like if we compute Sarah's d, it would be 10.4 minus 9.2. That would be 1.2. Whoops, let me scroll back up. If we compute Mr. X's D, it would be 15.9 minus 16.2, so negative 0.3. Theo's D would be 1.9, etc. April's D would be would be zero. So we want to know if the training program was effective. So in this problem, effective means that the times have to go down. So that means that the D has to be positive. So we want D's to be positive. You might say, what is mu sub D? Mu sub D is the population mean of the d's. So we want them to be positive on average. So positive means greater than zero. Again, because this problem is talking about running times and we want the times to go down for the program to be effective, you want the d's to be positive and that's why we get greater than zero. Steps two and three are done entirely in StackCrunch. Step two is always the test statistic. And step three is the p-value. So I've already typed all of this into StatCrunch, so I'm going to open it. And then you go to stat, t, and then you go to paired. Okay, you go to paired. And we know it's paired because we have dependent data. Whenever you see like a table with before and after, chances are it's going to be dependent. So stat, t, and paired. And then just pick the first thing and pick the second thing. You'll notice here StackCrunch also has a D, except they have a big D. We have a little D. It doesn't really matter if it's a big D or a little D. Uh, just change this to greater than zero. Everything looks good. I'm going to go down here and click Compute in the bottom right corner. And there's our test statistic. So T in this problem is 1.697. And the p-value in this case is 0.0752. Step four is the test decision. So in this case, we have to decide whether to reject or fail to reject. If the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject. If it's bigger, we fail to reject. In this case, the p-value is bigger than alpha, so it's fail to reject. H sub zero. Step five is the interpretation. We typically start our interpretations by mentioning the level of significance. So in this case, it's 1%. So we would say at the 1% level of significance. And whenever we reject H sub 0, then there is enough evidence to say H1 is true. We have enough evidence to support it. So if we reject H sub 0, we have enough evidence. There is enough evidence to support H1. In this case, we failed to reject H sub 0, so there is not sufficient evidence. So there is not, not, I'll just put suff, <laughs> evidence to support the claim that, I'll just say to claim that, to claim
claim that. And then you can just usually go to the last sentence. That Jono's training program was effective. Just copy paste last sentence. That Jono's Jono's training program was effective. Was effective. So kind of a tricky problem because um, you have to decide if it's greater than zero or less than zero. Most of the time in these problems, they're easier. Usually it'll say something like, is there a difference? Is there, you know, if it says, is there a difference? You, you just do that. So if it says different from or difference, it's, it's easy. You pick not equal to. This one was hard because it said, you know, is, is the program effective? So you have to think about what's happening in the problem. These are running times. You want the times to go down. That means when you subtract, you want a positive number. Hence, the greater than zero here. You want the, the Ds to be positive on average in this problem. So that's it. I hope that helped.